when you leave the monastery. You can't fold it up and put it in your pocket and take it with you. But you can take the skills that you picked up while you were here. These skills that we develop as we sit here with our eyes closed, they're not just for sitting here with our eyes closed. They're for you to use at all times. Because the breath is constantly fashioning the way you experience your body. And if you don't pay it much attention, it's just going to go its own way and do all kinds of things. But if you give it a little attention, you find it can help you get through lots of difficulties that you wouldn't be able to to stand otherwise. Endurance is one of the most important qualities you can develop as a meditator. It doesn't mean just gritting your teeth. It means looking for where in a given situation you can make a change for the better. And focus on that. And that helps you endure a lot of other things that you can't change. So you can change your breath, you can change your perception of things around you, so that you're not piling on any and unnecessary suffering. I mean, it's bad enough, as the Buddha says, we get shot by arrows whenever pain comes. But then we turn around and shoot ourselves with another arrow. Although I've always felt that that one more arrow is not enough. We shoot ourselves with a whole quiver of arrows. And it's not just the pain of the arrow, but think about it. You know, someone who's already shot by an arrow, and then they, the effort they go through to shoot another arrow at themselves, that's going to make the first arrow even worse. Just the act of turning the, the bow and shooting at yourself. And yet we do it all the time. So we can learn how to unlearn that habit, and you've learned an important skill right there. Find where there is a sense of ease with the breath, and you can maintain that and allow that to spread as much as you can through the body. Even as you're dealing with other difficulties, at least you have this much that you can lay claim to. This much is your home territory. Try to carry that with you wherever you go. And as the, for the perceptions that shape the mind, remember you can change the way you perceive things, the labels you apply to things. The mind has one set of labels, and it doesn't necessarily mean that your habitual set of labels is the truest. It's just one that's your most habitual going to, habitually going to. But you can change that. Try to find what other true ways you could perceive the situation that's not making it such a burden on the mind. When you have these skills, okay, then it's like you do have the monastery in your pocket. Or it's even closer than your pocket. It's, it's deep inside you. There you to provide you with shelter, with peace whenever you need it.